It's Tuesday at Le Mans. I'm John DeGeese with Sports Car 365. As you can see behind me, we're at Circuit de la Sarthe for the first time after two days of scrutineering in downtown Le Mans. Teams are getting ready for the on-track action, which begins tomorrow. We just had a driver photo shoot at the start-finish line, a traditional group photo, autograph sessions later in the day, and we're all the anticipation's building towards the race. We're here with Ryan DL, driver on the number 31 Tequila Patron ESM, Lige JSP2. This weekend, actually, you have some new colors with Paul Mitchell. What are your, your thoughts about that? Do you like the new livery? Well, it's, first of all, it's weird having you on this side of the camera, but I like it. Good change, but... Um, yeah, you know, we're not allowed French laws, we're not allowed to, to run alcohol sponsorships, so, you know, it's still Tequila Petroni SM, but, um, you know, we got Paul Mitchell on board here, and so we're, we're hoping for a lot of good hair days this week. There you go. Um, how's the you know, obviously, you weren't at the test day last week, but how did it go for the team in general and getting up to speed with, with this package? First time with the team with the Nissan-powered um, Ligiers here at Le Mans. Yeah, um, we struggled with the Ligia here last year. This was only our second race after getting the cars delivered, obviously back then with the, the Honda Power, but um, I wouldn't say it was a perfect test. Um, we didn't quite have the speed. Uh, I think the Ligiers are a little bit behind uh, the Oricas right now, um, which we kind of expected. Uh, you know, the, the beauty of the car is the tire wear. Tire wear is great. And uh, so all we can really do at this point is uh, keep the car in one piece, make it nice to drive for uh, 24 hours, but uh, great crew here, obviously, as always, and um, first two races this year, we've had the least amount of time on, on pit lane, so I think that's a big part of uh, success at Le Mans, so we'll do our best. And obviously getting podiums in those first two races, you've been off to a really strong start in the season. Did you imagine having this kind of momentum heading into Le Mans, considering, you know, the struggles of the WEC last year with, with this, this program? Yeah, if I look at where we were uh, 12 months ago at this point, um, you know, even just how organized we are in pit lane and, and just being ready to go, and I think confidence is a big thing. Obviously, we came in a week after the two uh, big wins for Petroni SM at Daytona and Sebring. Um, but yeah, I mean, nobody wants to be bridesmaid, right? Everybody wants to be bride. And, uh, you know, we're still we're still chasing that first win of the season uh, in WEC. Uh, hopefully it's here. We'll do our best. But I think the most important thing is to get some really good points in the bag. Championship's the big thing. Um, we're just a couple of points off the lead right now. So, uh, you know, we know what we need to do. And uh, we're hopeful that... Yeah, our guys can deliver and, and soak in the drivers. What's the focus tomorrow in terms of free practice and then heading right into qualifying? Mixed conditions, you know, we don't really don't know how the weather's going to play out just yet. Um, I'm a, a big believer in uh, positive mental thinking is going to bring the sunshine. And, uh, you know, who knows, if, if, the rain, if the rain comes, actually, I think it's good for us. I think the Ligier was really strong in Silverstone compared to the Orica. So, you know, we're not, we're not going to be too uh, disappointed if it rains. Um, so we'll focus on our dry car. I think a good dry car uh, will make a good wet car. But um, speaking of sunshine, obviously my uh, my thoughts are with everybody in Orlando. That's where I live. So uh, it's been a bit of a doom and gloom week. Um, so hopefully we can bring some sunshine back to Florida. Well, there you go. Best of luck this weekend, Ryan. Thank you.